I lied to myself. I towed the line. It wasn't my line. I played it safe, living in the city. But it was only a matter of time before my heart begged to exorcise the lie. Surely the panic rising in the aftermath of that visit to the war museum, I remember that day like a dull pain, was mostly, if not only, the culmination of the truth that what I wanted, what I needed, was the moon and the wind and the shore and the ocean and the mountains and the warm rocks. The heat and the softness of the sunshine, the peace and the rawness of the storms and the coals, the motion and the rhythm and the ebb and the flow of the tides and the wind of this glorious weather all around. This was my line, this is my line, that keeps me whole, that keeps me rooted, that gives me faith. This nature frames my world. It's a lay motif, a compass, an anchor, a constant companion, a steady hand. I cannot deny it must be shared with those I love through mutual touch, like a common DNA, like blood flowing from the top of the mountain, down the stream, along the valley, into the ocean of each of us.